this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some fish bake and codfish. For my fish bake, this is the codfish that I'm using. I have some flour. It's three cups of all-purpose flour. I have one lemon. garlic powder, onion powder, yeast, that's the instant yeast, baking powder, I have some unsalted butter, salt. I'm going to also be using some sugar and I'm going to give you the exact quantities. Here I have some thyme, tomato, green onion or scallions as they call it, some red onions and some bell pepper, the red one. So I'm also going to be using some lukewarm water and I will attach my color video on the top of my video right now so you can see how to get the exact temperature for lukewarm water because if you make it too hot you will kill the yeast and if it's too cold the yeast will not rise. The codfish is very very salty. I'm gonna wash the salt that's on it and then I'm gonna put it on my stove and I'm going to boil it twice to drain the salt out of it. I've washed some of the salt off so it's in there with some water and it's going on my stove to start boiling to take some more salt out. So it's, it has been boiling. You see some of the salt that's all the way on the top so I'm going to waste it and I'm going to wash out that pot and put some more water and put it back on the stove. I've done it the second time and I'm just going to go and waste the water and set it in some cold water and then we're going to move on to making the dough. I've shredded the codfish. I'm going to my stove. I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil and then I'm going to fry the codfish and the vegetables. I have the oil and I'm going to put my vegetables. And my sauce is on medium. I'm putting the garlic powder in there. which is a teaspoon and I'm putting some onion powder that's a teaspoon also I'm not adding salt because the codfish has salt and I'm gonna put my codfish in there Give that a stir. And now I'm going to add one lemon in there. And let that cook together. Let's start the dough. Three cups of all purpose flour. And I'm going to put three teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. One 
one teaspoon of sugar and let's stir that up now I'm going to be adding to that two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'm just going to cut that in the dough and make it flaky your yeast will be the last so you can make it with just baking powder three cups of all-purpose flour and three teaspoons of baking powder but I always add yeast to mine I do mine with three cups of all-purpose flour three teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of yeast and it's the instant yeast Add your salt before. If you add the salt with the yeast, it will kill the yeast. So put your salt and mix it all up. And then you can put your yeast in there. The one teaspoon of yeast. After you do that, it's time to add the warm water. I will start to add the warm water a little bit at a time and just mix that in. That was one cup of warm water. I'm just going to put some flour and transfer it and just kneel it about five to six times. I'm going to take it, put it back in my bowl and I'm going to cover it with some foil paper. I put my dish towel and just put it in my oven that is dark. And it's going to sit for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. And I'm just going to take it and roll it out a little bit. I have my pan right here. I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna take it and just roll it under. And I'm going to do all of them and I will be back. I've done all of them. I'm going to cover it again with my foil paper and put my towel and put it back in my oven. My oven is not on but it's dark so that's why I want to keep it. And I'm going to do it for another 15 minutes and I will be back. I just took it out of the oven. You see it has double in size. I put a little bit of flour. I'm going to put one of them and put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. This is it. 
I've rolled one of them and I'm going to go on to rolling all of them. rolled it all and now I'm about to fry it. I have my oil on medium. You don't want it too high because you don't want it to burn and I'm just going to drop it in there. And make sure as it's floating you keep putting the oil on the top, the hot oil, so it can swell as it cooks. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to repeat the process. See that's how you want it golden brown but not burnt. When this side is done I'm going to take it out and let it drain on some paper towel and fry the next one. Take your bread knife and just cut it and open it up. And this is the inside. And now I'm going to put my cod fish in there. fish bake and codfish is ready thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel hit that notification button so each time i upload you will be notified bye bye